Hi, welcome to this video where I will show you how to debug a Next.js application with a VS Code debugger. If we look at the documentation, there is a debugging section that suggests create the launch.json file with this configuration. And if we look at this config, we see there are three configurations. The first for the server side, the second for the client side, and finally for the full stack. So we will do this right now. We will create a launch.json file and put the suggested configuration in it. Then we will set a breakpoint there and launch the full stack like this. So now we should stop and the page will not load until I have passed the breakpoint. So we can see when I stop it, as I say, the page has not loaded. And if I pass the debugger, the page loads correctly. What we will do now is create a variable to understand the useful of something like this. So I make a equal one and increment a a lot of time. So I will return to my page, refresh it, and see that I stop at my breakpoint. A is not defined yet. I pass and I can see the incrementation of A. This is very useful for debugging. For example, I will make a small server action. So I create my function.ts in server action. I will put it in async and on my page also in async. I will do a equal function demo. And of course, we need to think about a wait. And I will set a breakpoint here and there and restart. So we can stop correctly at the request. I pass the next breakpoint, which my demo function and can go through each step. I see that I have written one. So to retrieve A will indeed be equal to one here, I can see. Another nice feature is that I can disable all my breakpoint here and delete them all. Another feature I like is the log. I can edit my breakpoint, write a log message and simply put hello. And if I reload my application, I can see hello into the log here. I can remove my breakpoint. So there are many another options, such as adding expression to set conditional breakpoint to stop only if there are a certain value was reached. We can count the number of time we pass a breakpoint and wait for the breakpoint. I don't know what's it. So that's it for the demo. I hope you find it useful. It's very practical for debugging your applications. Have a good evening.